Hey YouTube. So I decided to make my own, uh, I call it a sonic parts washer. It's not really a sonic parts washer. Probably more accurately an agitation parts washer. So just went down to Walmart and picked up this bucket here. And uh, I don't know, a couple bucks, maybe three dollars or something. Um, probably, actually probably go to a second hand store and pick up a stronger one for a, a little bit more firmer one for, you know, like two bucks. Um, then I picked up this uh, sander thing. I just bought the cheapest one they had. It was like, I don't know, 25 bucks or something. And then I took um, the plate off it. Well, you know, you put the sandpaper on this side. So what I did is I took it apart to see how it worked. And then I cut out this piece of plastic here and just drilled some holes into it. Had to countersink them because this plastic was really thick. And I got my own, dug through my uh, collection of... Uh, nuts and bolts and screws and found some nice long screws uh, the original ones are just enough for the um, to seat on the the sandpaper holder so got some longer screws put that in there and uh, screwed it onto there so that's pretty secure I tried RTV first but uh, RTV doesn't stick to rubber apparently this is a well I don't know if it's a rubber made deal of the RTV there's probably still some left on this side It'll just come off. It won't hold to it. So, so I come ended up going that route. And then I built this little box for it because when I first turned it on, that sander goes like way too fast for it. So I wanted to control it. So I just got a made a little box there and uh, got a dimmer switch. But I didn't know how this uh, dimmer switch worked because on the packaging it didn't say that it was uh, it could turn off. I thought it was just always going to just be like a slide deal. And the one that did say it turned off was like eight dollars. I didn't want to pay for eight dollars, so I just got a. They call these gang boxes or something like that. I just got a three insert box, and I wanted to have a switch so I can turn it on and off quickly in case I ever had to. And then um, I thought this would just be a dimmer to. You can hear it click. It actually turns off, but it didn't say that on the packaging. If I was to redo this, I'd probably just get a single unit that was more tightly waterproof, and just go with that switch there. And then that's just a standard wall out there. I just got a, at, I think it was Lowe's or Home Depot. They just had extension cords. It was like a dollar ninety nine or something like that. So I just got that and cut into it, and then spliced it all in there. I didn't have to use any wire nuts. It just worked out well because the dimmer comes with two leads, and then there's two leads off of the, you know, when you split your extension cord out. So it just worked out to where everything, like bolt screwed on in there, and I didn't have to use any wire nuts or anything. So I just want to show you what it looks like. So I'll turn it on, and then you turn the switch. And there's that there. You can turn it different speeds. Um, there's a little lip right here, and it's kind of weird because it makes the water splash. And uh, so that's exactly, well, I took a five gallon bucket, filled it up with water, and dumped it in there. So I'm thinking it's like five gallons. So if I just put like four gallons, it'd be below that lip and wouldn't splash like that. But if you turn it up, it'll kind of quit doing that. And uh, it agitates pretty good. You put your hand in there and you can feel it agitating. So, turn it off there. Anyhow, um, what my game plan is to just get you some, uh, shoot, I should have brought that stuff out. It's called like Super Clean. I think that's the name of it. It's like the best cleaning detergent I've ever found. You can pour that straight on it and it'll take rust off and stuff. I suppose it's biodegradable, but you just need to pour a little bit into here and, uh, and then throw like a rusty part in there, turn it on, let it agitate around for a couple of hours, and that's my game plan for a kind of do-it-yourself parts washer. And uh, cause I was looking for the little dinky Sonic ones from like Harbor Freight. I think they're like seventy dollars or something. And uh, I think this will do just as good a job. And, well, I don't know if it will or not, but I'll find out. So uh, maybe if I clean a part in there, I'll show you a before and after shot of it. Anyway, so that's my uh, do-it-yourself. So I think. Uh, I don't know, it was kind of expensive, but it was a lot of fun. Plus, I learned some things. If I were to do this again, like I said, I'd build that box differently. And, um, need to get longer screws and maybe a, a, a thinner holding bracket there. I like the way that came out there. Um, I didn't want to use wood because I was afraid the wood would just swell up and eventually fall off. So plastic was probably a good choice. Anyhow, so that's my do-it-yourself, uh, parts cleaner. And, uh, again, I'll show, uh, show an update when I actually clean a part in it. Anyways, if you like this video, 
And hopefully, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I hopefully I explained it well enough to where you could build one of these if you wanted to. But uh, if you like the video, just hit like. And if you want to see more stuff like this, just hit subscribe. Thank you.